How's it going, everyone? Happy New Year! This is China Car. You're watching my first upload of the year. I hope you all enjoy this battle. This is a passerby match that I thought was a lot of fun. I got to try out some things that are really unconventional. Things like Gracious Seal, Electros, Torcara, and Lachios. All those things are just Pokemon that I haven't really got a chance to use that much. And we got to try them out in this passerby match. Passerby battle, whatever. He starts off with a of Kate. I'm not really sure what he was going to do. If he wanted to U-turn, I wouldn't be bothered by that just because I just still resist that. But he physically switched out and goes into his Blaze again, which I am not bothered by. I do set up my Stealth Ox, which is good. But I'm not bothered by Blaze again that much just because I have Lachios. I'm not going to Mega Evolve here just because I think Mega Lachios and Mega Lachios are banned. If not, then I don't know. I just didn't feel like using them. Anyway, so he went for four blitz. I'm not really sure why he did that. And then I flinch. So he probably has the item that will make me flinch. But it's a one time opportunity there. And he used it. Here I go for Thunder Wave just slow down the boys again a little bit more by a cash of Raikate coming in which I thought was a little bit scary there just because of the guts ability that he might have now just to see if he had sucker punch I went for recover and turns out that I am right and so here I go into Conkildur expecting another sucker punch but he goes for that paralyzation chance it gets paralyzed which means he cannot attack me for one turn and so bypassing his own sucker punch I went for a block punch or if he didn't want to go for sucker punch he would go for a normal type move or something like that. But I would bypass that just because of Mock Punch. Next up, we have Mega Mega Gross to deal with, which I am a little bit scared about just because it's very strong. It's not fast compared to his regular form. But here he goes for Grass Knot. I'm not really sure why he did that. He was probably over predicting a little bit there. I go for bulk up thinking I could take a psychic type move in the form of like maybe Zen Headbutt but he pulls psychic and I'm like oh that sucks because now I cannot live that hit and so I end up wasting my Conkelder I really should have gone for that mock punch again maybe I could do some damage but not this time around here I bring in choice specs Electros and I was thinking okay he might switch into Swampert expecting a Thunderbolt or something but I went for Flamethrower just because I could hit I could hit the Swampert and get the Burn Chance, which I do right here. And that's great because now I can safely bring in my Torcara. Well, that was weird commentary. I meant I could bring in Torcara safely for free and then I can um, go for a wood hammer if I have to. It's too bad that I don't have synthesis on this Torcara. I bred this guy way back in black and white too. Oh man, that was a long time ago. But anyway, so I see Staraptor coming in here. So I expected that, and so I take that opportunity to double switch, which is great because the Antigone, while it affected Tarkara, it's going to wear out as I switch out and I go into my Scarfs and Shino for free. That was a great play as I outspeak Staraptor and I'm just going to knock him out with a Rock Blast move. Great. Just great. He could have been choice bandit. Um, just because if he was scarfed, then he would have asked by me. Otherwise, we were speed kind. Now, he brings in my champ. I wanted to see if he had um, dynamic punch. And to do that, I'm going to switch out and go into my earthy looks again. The Torcara to pretty much take that hit. But he gets a critical hit there, which I'm happy about. Torcara taking that hit. And since I have a lump berry on this set, I'm going to bypass that fusion and hit him really hard with a hammer arm or it would be a grass type move hammer arm attack that would be wood hammer <laughs> anyway so um i am not going to take a cross shop again so we're just going to have to sacrifice torcara good job torcara you're one of my favorite grass types ever and so that means I can bring back in choice scarf and Gino, smash him off with a tail slap there. 
and I am going to finish him off right there with a revenge killing fashion. He brings back in Metacross and I'm not going to stay along like that because I'm sort of scarfed and I'm locked in on Kale Slap here. Not the best situation ever. So I go into Regis Steel expecting a hammer arm. I can probably kick a few of these just because I'm defensive. But it's a clean two hit KO. That kind of shows you how strong this thing is. Um, but this way I can sacrifice Stretchy Steel and bring back in Eolechos. That's the plan here. Um, and it worked out great. It's too bad that I could not outspeed him after that minus one drop from the first move. Okay, now even if he wants to switch out and go into Swamper again, I'm going to continue going for Flamethrower just because at the amount of HP that he's at after the burn damage that's going to take place after this, I am going to go for another one to finish him off. I'm sure it's specs, so I can keep going for that move and hit Miracles too if he wants to bring that, that back in. Um, I'm not really sure why he went for the Earthquake, because I have Levitate, but it's okay. He probably was over predicting a little bit there. No big deal. He does bring back in Marcos, and like I said, I'm just going to stay in and go for a flamethrower, and I, I kick that Psychic really well, just because Marcos' physical attack is stronger than special set, so um, kick out Marcos, no problem. Now we have to deal with Blitz again. No problem. I have my Lachios here. Let's go for that switching. And I knew he might protect. So I go into Lachios. And uh, he has Brave Bird, which I was a little bit surprised about. But I know I can take that unless it's a critical hit. Fortunately, I don't get a critical hit off that Brave Bird or well, I wasn't the one going for that move. Um, but ha, I got a critical hit of my own there. I just take out Blaze again. All right, then. Um, and we defeat our opponent, just like that. That was a great battle there. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.